What's going on, guys? You're getting your daily dose of motivation. This is episode 170. <laughs> I am very happy today. Good mental day for sure. And that is actually the topic of what I wanted to talk about. I feel like it's really, really easy to catch that negative wave. You know what I'm saying? When something bad happens, it's like a domino effect, but I call it the negative wave because it comes through, just kind of wipes you out, and then the rest of your day, you know, it's really easy to pile it on and just keep getting even more angry, even more sad, whatever it is that you have going on, you could just keep stacking it up, multiplying it, and uh, it's really easy to ride that negative wave and keep going forever with it, um, I think it's harder to catch that positive wave and jump on that bad boy and ride through and keep on going. And today, I never even really thought about that. I guess it's kind of what I've been doing with fighting my negativity with positivity. But today I had a boost when I woke up. And I think I know why. But uh, just physically I felt pretty good. And uh, mentally I felt really, really great just from the beginning of the day. And even though I had a few things going on at work that were kind of stressing me out, I could kind of feel like maybe I might be slipping off that positive wave, maybe going over to the negative one. I held on tight and I just kept riding that sweet, sweet, positive, positive wave. Good vibes today. And uh, I just felt really happy and I kept noticing it because, you know, being depressed, being sad about stuff, focusing, and I mean, even, staying positive and working on things that you need to work on it doesn't have to be necessarily negative it's just things that you know habits you're trying to break things you're trying to work on it could be stressful and it could be real easy to go towards that negative side to go to the dark side but uh you know life's great and it's not just because of these dope boobies behind me <laughs> it's a cartoon by the way there's not like a really hot woman just sitting behind me in case you thought that. Um, not that that would be that far off from my dope life. Uh, all the hot women that hang out in my room, they're just not here right now. So um, they went to go get some dinner or something and whatever. We're going to party later. But right now, I'm talking about this positive wave. I've been riding it all day and just feeling great. Um, and I guess I think it could be easy to get to that wave a lot more often if you focused on that. And like I said, I spent a lot of my life focusing on the negative, letting everything stack up, holding it all inside, and then just exploding and just ruining everything in general. So I think it's just such a good thing to have a good day and ride that positive wave all the way through. And I'm feeling great. And I think a lot of it has to do with just all these little small goals that I keep um, completing. And it just feels so good, even though they're not the hugest goals. Like I've been cleaning my room um, and setting it up in a different way to accommodate my podcast that I want to do and just to be more organized. And I think honestly, waking up the next day with my room so organized and just so beautiful with my OCD, it took that little piece. Remember I was telling you the little things, it ended up being a big thing and I feel so good about it because I'm hopeful for the future with these podcasts. I know it's gonna be awesome. This room's weird looking. It already feels like a studio. I came up with a dope name. The studio here is the Low Tell Studios. What? Come on. I'm gonna put a little chocolate on the chair, you know, like a hotel would do. Um, put a little chocolate on the pillow. I'm gonna put it on the chair for each guest. You're gonna have a little chocolate, a little chocolate. You're welcome. Welcome to the Lotel. What up, bitch? And that's a nice bitch, not a rude bitch. That's like a, you're my bitch. But not like a possessive, you're my woman bitch, but like, you're, you're my homie bitch. Okay, I'm just digging holes and I'm too lazy to dig myself out. So you're not a bitch. I love you and we're best friends. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I want to show you guys my room though. Just give you a little tour of the Lotel Studios. I'm just feeling so good about everything and hopeful and, uh, I don't know, it's just been a good day. I've been riding that positive wave. So if you're feeling good, even just for a second, try to hold on to that all day. Even when shit starts to fall apart for a minute, it's a lot easier to slip away in that <laughs> that negative wave and that negative riptide trying to suck you out, take you away from all your goals and your dreams and whatever you're working on. 
just try to stay on that positive wave. That's what I did today, and it was a success. Success, S -s 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 success. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> I'm tired and dinner is ready, but instead I'm making this video because I love you guys and I wanna get it done for you. Cause I know you're sitting there waiting. You're like, what's up? I can't DVR this shit. Um, I can't download it illegally. I can't get it until this guy gives it to me. So here it is, boom. I, I'm just feeling good and I'm excited. I'm being a silly little bitch. See, I called myself a bitch, so it cancels out when I called you a bitch, where you might you may have been offended by that, even though I was saying you're my homie bitch. But anyway, moving on again. Uh, thanks for watching this weird video. Much love and uh, keep riding that positive wave. And now, don't know what this is. This is the signal, caca, <laughs> that you were about to check out the Low Tell Studios. This is an exclusive! Whoa, 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 what? What better way to start it off than showing my picture from MTV's Catfish, April 2012, at the apartment where it all started, where you saw me breathing hard and walking down three stairs and almost passing out, wishing I had bacon to wipe my sweat off. All right, moving on, that's all I talk about is Catfish, so I'm sure you know. Dope painting from uh, my friend Jake, great artist, good guy, um, always goes off the grid, and last time I heard, he said I could have these, so I'm still uh, holding on to them, and I love them. It's part of my life now. Got this uh, bookshelf down there where I pretend that I know how to read. I'm still trying to learn. Um, I have reading for dummies, and I can't figure it out. And that's a lamp. That is the door to my bathroom. It's where I take deuces. We're not gonna go in there, it still stinks. Um, guitar, I won that off a of 94.7, signed by everybody in my morning jacket, if you know that band. Uh, I still don't know how to play the guitar. I had a goal of learning on that, and I'm, I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm gonna do it one day. And there is my king-sized bed. It's where all the magic happens, all the lonely, <laughs> Lonely Tears for Lube magic. And I think you know, I think you know Sarah Jean Underwood. Say hello. Hello. And yeah, that was her. Um, little shelf holding my stuff. I've already showed off this dope pizza time clock. All this Hulk stuff. What up? Collection's just getting bigger. Another painting. This is uh, the dope flat screen with all my stuff, got my Xbox in there, the PlayStation, uh, my Nintendo is supposed to be down there, the Nintendo Switch, but my stepdad's borrowing it because I'm a dope ass dude. Dope painting from my friend on my birthday a long time ago, you know them titties. Got that little drape over there, that drape, that drape decor. It says fire and blood. You know that bitch went crazy, spoiler, Game of Thrones. Got the whiteboard, this is the office. Got the office area, what up? I'm not done setting this all up yet. There's gonna be like a fridge over here for the guests to be able to get drinks. And they're gonna sit over here while they look over here. And we're gonna talk to each other and be like, this podcast is dope. So I'll show all this again when it's ready to roll. But uh, yeah, it's my little office area, I like it. It's professional. So that's it, that's what's up.